Namaste. Today, I will be talking about a very important topic. According to one of the greatest classics in astrology, it is very difficult to predict without using the house and house lots. Uh, there are uh, many classics which talks about house lots in detail and there are many which doesn't. Foremost of them is Brihat Parashar Hora Sastra, generally known as BPHS. BPHS deals about house lot and different houses. I am pretty sure that you all are aware of. But is there a secret hidden between the lines? What Parashar wants to tell us? Uh, let me explain it to you. In my career as an astrologer for more than 12 years now, around 13 years, I have seen a combination, say, fifth lord and the fourth house, giving good result as well as bad result. Though when you go into detail, there are many more factors that come into play, such as the influence of planets over the fifth lord and many other things, though. But primarily what I have seen is the change of mindset between people. So basically, what I have seen, my observation is, or it is a normal thing, an intelligent person who makes smart moves can turn everything into opportunity. And someone who takes bad decisions, who have bad management, can even make the good scenario worse. I am pretty sure that you have also heard of it. I have seen that a planetary combination tries to tell you a particular thing. It demands something from you. And if you give that thing that the combination is asking from, asking for you, the combination actually turns very beneficial. I will talk about the main principle in the end of the video. Before that, first of all, let's see the fifth lord through different houses and what it demands. Why fifth house? Because it is very, very important. The fifth house represents our children. Not only children, it deals with everyone dependent on us. It can be your younger sibling, it can be your employee, it can be your real child, it can be your students, it can be your followers, it can be people working under you, all of them. So when I want to have the person's success, when I want the person to perform their best, your child to perform the best, what should you be doing? in helping them into that. You know, the biggest astrological remedy that I know is molding yourself to what the chart is demanding, what the horoscope is demanding. Coming to my point, when the fifth lord is in the ascendant, it is in the ninth house from the fifth house and it is in the first house from the ascendant. In this particular scenario, you have to be, I will be taking the normal example of child. But as I told earlier, you can apply it to employees, people dependent on you, younger children, anyone. Your students, people working under you, many of them, you know, you, you juniors, and everyone. So when the fifth lord is in Lagna, what the demand is and what you should fulfill is the guidance. When the fifth lord is in the lagna, you have to be yourself, be truthful, and guide them. Guide your children on how you tackle a particular situation. But you have to make sure not to lie and not to make a statement which is contradictive to your nature or how you are generally perceptive. When the fifth lord goes to the second house, it is in the tenth house from the fifth house and second house from the lagna. In this scenario, the child is very visionary. He can do many things. The only thing that 
they need from you is the complete support financially as well as motivationally in such situations generally the children are shy at first and when you teach them the starting nuances and the beginning lessons they pick up quite quickly and do a great success when the fifth lord goes to the third house in that scenario the child have many a lot of you know inspirations aspirations want to achieve a lot of things and what it demands from your side is that you actively participate with them and help them achieve what they are want to do you need to lend your support 40% to them so that they can do the rest of 60% and when they complete it you will be very very proud of them when the fifth lord goes to the fourth house the child is generally very confined to themselves afraid afraid of public speaking going with people and interacting with people and many things what you need to do is comfort the person comfort the child so comfort the child make him at ease and specifically give them everything they need so that they don't have to worry about it like say your child want to play cricket it's not just you give him a bat give him a bat give him a glove and give him a complete cricket set a complete support from your side and they will not only perform but outperform when the fifth lord is in the fifth house you just have to support them they have all the ingredients necessary for success the only thing that they need from you is your support and your wisdom specifically in such a scenario you should be sharing your experiences with the child and most importantly <coughs> sorry and most importantly when the fifth lord is on the fifth house you have to be a spiritual guide for them and, and the most crucial thing that i have seen with the fifth lord and the fifth house is never ever present yourself in a disorganized way in front of your children never ever let them feel that my father or my mother whoever you are is not calm and composed enough in this scenario <clears throat> when the fifth lord goes to the sixth house the child needs to be left alone when they want specifically you should not put many much pressure on them and there can be an uh, there can be an extra pressure on the child extra social pressure uh like how they come in front of their friends how they come in front of the teachers etc this can be the issue and in this particular scenario you have to help them do the things that they are afraid of you have to be a parent who push their children or go with them in doing those things which they are afraid of at first when the fifth lord goes to the seventh house in that scenario the child is a bit courageous and you have to teach them how to keep this particular courage into control and you have to actually teach them the lesson of discrimination on how and when the courage should be applied and how and when the courage should not be applied they know almost everything they just don't know how to apply it when the fifth lord goes to the eighth house the child is a bit fearful he may have some phobia and he is generally discomforted by almost every new person or every new circumstances or situation that comes to their life and you have to make them understand that when you were a child you also suffer from the same issues and now you have overcome them and these problems that they are encountering is actually very very beneficial for them only and the fifth lord goes to the ninth house in that particular scenario the children takes care of many things though they because being children they may not help you but they want to and also they are a guide uh, a senior to their batch mates or their friends in that scenario you actually have to teach them how to lead and take the responsibility and specifically you should nurture spirituality 
when the tenth lord is in the sixth house, the child is very very charismatic, but he may suffer from some internal weakness. Generally, with the tenth lord in the sixth house, sorry, tenth lord in the fifth lord in the tenth house, the first experience of child while doing anything is not very pleasant. which may actually put them off from doing the thing again in such scenario you should be helping them reaching to them and help them perform the task once under your guidance don't help them just keep your guidance over them and then they will perform really well when the fifth lord goes to the 11th house in that scenario the person the child can be too much social and you have to make them understand how to keep a limit in a friendship and how to segregate your personal life professional life and the friend circle more than that the child want to achieve many things very quickly and you have to teach them the lesson of patience when the fifth lord goes to the eighth house generally such children suffer from their own personality there are many traits about themselves that they themselves don't like and they are generally seen complaining why i do this way i want to change it but i am not able to in that scenario you actually have to help them calm their mind teach them some meditative techniques how to calm how to relax and specifically teach them how to manage your anger frustration and pressure this particular way you will be helping them this is just a quick quick snippet for fifth lord in all the different houses and what problems your child your employee people working under you your juniors your students may be facing and how you can help them. this is just an outer part of the thing that i'm talking about out of all the text that deals with the fifth lord in different houses as i have already told you brit prashar hora sastra generally known as bph is one of the most one of the foremost classic which deals with this right but when we read a house lord in different houses we just read it superficially we don't read it very in depth what i have understood in my experience of astrology is that when sages have written classics they haven't only written it for the purpose of that someone will come and read it they have written it with motivation behind every word that sages have written in the classics there is a particular motivation on what you should learn from this technique how you should understand from what you should understand from this technique and specifically what is being told in the technique what is being told in the rule what is being told in the shloka and what is to be understood are two different things coming to my point i have seen one very striking point and this is one of the biggest biggest mystery of astrology is what i personally believe in. a house lord as i have already told you there is no analysis of a horoscope without the inclusion of house lord right one house lord is in a different house that's fine that house lord is occupying a particular house from that house and that house lord is occupying a particular house from the ascendant how do you reconcile the reconciliation is very important if you actually want to understand how the house and house lord works this reconciliation between them is what parashara wanted to teach us otherwise there will be a particular placement from the house and a particular placement from the lagna lagna as in and if you don't reconcile it it may lead to two different results that may be contradictive also and then what you will predict this is the biggest hurdle the students who come to me have and uh, there are you know there are I, i teach generally those students who have learned from many institutions and are not able to predict i help them predict i teach them how to predict the real formula and in my endeavor to do that i have to explain all these things that i'm talking about the reconciliation between the position of the planet from the house and from the lagna what i have seen personally what is my experience regarding this is that when the the position of the house lord from the house is what you need to do 
for that particular house to grow. And the position of the same house lot from the Lagna or the Ascendant is what you need to sacrifice or how you need to do it. Coming to an example, if the ninth lot goes to the fourth house, it is in the eighth house from the ninth house. Eighth house indicate death transformation, things you haven't expected is indicated by the ninth house. Now, if you want your luck to help you, if you want to be lucky, if you want to attract positive things, good things, increase your money, increase your wealth, increase your status, everything comes into luck. If you want to do that, you actually need to transform the way you work, change the way you think, and specifically expect the things which you don't know of, which you are not aware of, which you haven't planned. But how do you do that? Because it is fourth from the ascendant, you do that by coming out of your comfort zone. Fourth house also in its sleep. You do that by, uh, you know, like having a good schedule to sleep. You do that by fourth house also in its water. So you do that by taking, a, you know, like doing some water sports, like go on a swimming or, you know, like go on a swimming and other water related therapies, etc. You can try for the improvement of luck. So basic point. The house a planet occupies from the house he owns indicate what you need to do to get better results of that house. And the same placement seen from the ascendant indicates what you need to sacrifice or what you need to change in order to achieve that. The understanding of this thing is very important, so important, so important that once you understand this, you need no other astrological remedy. This is the biggest astrological remedy that you have to follow. Once your life is in alignment with your horoscope, there is nothing else that needs to be done at all. And this thing is clearly told in Bhat Parashar Pura Sastra. But the problem is, I will tell you, like in Mahabharata, Krishna is telling to Arjun, Sanjay is writing. And this whole episode is being narrated by Vyas to Ganesha. And Ganesha is writing the Mahabharata. And a part of Mahabharata is Bhagavad Gita. Now, in the case of Bhat Parashar Pura Sastra, Parashar is talking to Maitre, but who is right? We don't know. What happened later on, around 4th century BC, sorry, around 4th century AD, BBHS was available. And scholars from that time referred to. But from 10th century AD up to 17th century AD, all the sages have clearly written that we have heard the name of BPHS, but we have never seen it. Around 18th century, once again, people have dis people discovered Prashar Hora Sastra, people discovered BPHS and started writing commentaries on it, started writing translations. <coughs> Sorry. Now the complete thing is what is actually written by Parashar, what is not written by Parashar, what is included by people, translators, authors, commentators to differentiate their text from other books is a problem. If you look at complete Grihat Parashar Horasastri, you will find that at many places, Parashar is contradicting himself. Parashar is contradicting his own rules. There are many formulas which Parashar never intended to say, but is now accidentally, mistakenly put into the text. What happened into this? The system of Bhrat Parashar is now corrupted. And there are many things, many unnecessary things which have crept into Bhrat Parashar. Keeping this in particular mind, and because I have done a lot of research in Bhrat Parashar, 
for uh, astrological community i decided to do a course on virat parashar that is starting from 23rd of march it will be a four month course approximately 20 to 22 classes all online it will be in both the languages in english and in hindi and in this particular course i am starting from a to z of virat parashar hora sastra specifically dealing with those principles that parashara told and is not included by some other person and not only teaching you virat parashara that many people teach i am also going to specifically teach you what was parashar meaning or what parashar was trying to say when writing a particular shloka point 1 point 2 what parashar haven't written there are many things that parashar hinted at but he haven't written all these things we will explore in depth in detail it will be a complete wholesome course on a to z of breath parashar or the parashari system of astrology and anyone who want to learn predictions practice as a professional astrologer want to learn astrology want to see horoscopes predict horoscopes or change their own lives through the knowledge of astrology are most welcome to open the course over the time my teaching career of many years i have seen many students who have told me that sir we have taken course from this institute that institute and now we are not able to predict and i am very proud to say that i have made all of them predict very brilliantly very brilliantly on horoscopes so to that extent that many of my students are now practicing astrology so they have their own separate practice and even the teachers of many institutions come to learn from me so that they can have new content enjoy my researches to increase their knowledge right so if you are wishing to learn astrology for any purpose you are most welcome in the course thank you for watching the video namaskar have a good day